So uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how you can design your microcontroller sub-circuit. So, so for a microcontroller, we are going to use ADmega328. So let's find out ADmega328 from the first library. Okay, so let's search it ADmega328. Oh, but unfortunately, um, Eagle doesn't support um, for the ADmega328 library. So, in your, uh, most of the time, when you are going to design a big schematic, so you will face this type of problem. Uh, but, so in that case, what you can consider that you have to find out the compatible library um, that um, is um, as that is same uh, with your um, expected library, right? So for 80 mega 328 and the pin count and orientation and mechanical dimension is same as 80 mega 8. So we can use 80 mega 8 in a state of 80 mega 328, right? Okay, let's search with 80 mega 8. I think yeah, 80 mega 8 has the library. Okay, so this one is the TQ FP32 version. So we are going to use SMD uh, TQ FP version. And I, the next one, let's, okay, this one is MLF32 version. But uh, this is actually smaller than TQ FP version. So we are going to use TQ FP version for 80 mega 328. Actually, we are using 80 mega 8 package, but 80 mega 8 package is um, uh, compatible with 80 mega 328 package. So we don't have to change anything, right? Okay. Let's select this one. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the first thing I need to add here is the um, reset or uh, reset resistor. So for the 80 mega 328 for the basic schematic uh, that um, that is compatible with Arduino Uno. So we need to add a pull up resistor with the reset pin, right? So we need a resistor for this one. So let's look for resistor. Yes, I just you are. So again, we are going to um, select uh, re uh, resistor from the RCL library. So what is the RCL library? Okay, here. So uh, just expand REU. But the problem with um, REU library is that I don't like uh, the symbol of REU. So let's find out the library from REUS. Yeah. So REUS um, symbol is um, just like the resistor we are familiar with. Okay, so the first, all these components are through hole version, so we have to go down for selecting the SMB version, right? Yeah, okay, let's go down. I think these are the SMB version, right? Yeah. So, that is uh, our 805. I need to find out our 060. Three, yeah. So this is the R zero six zero three package. So in our design um, for resistor capacitor, we mostly use R zero six zero three package. Oh, so you have to remember this one, right? Okay. So we will connect this resistor with the reset pin. So let's select the net tool and connect this with the reset pin. Okay, one thing you need to remember that, so think about that, why you're going to be connected this uh, IR, so you, uh, you don't like the angle, right? You don't like the turning point uh, of this IR, so when you are on the middle of your design, when you are just drawing your uh, net for connecting one point to another, you can click, the, uh, click on the right mouse, right? Okay, just click on the right mouse, this will change the, um, change the orientation of your angle, okay? Just connect here. Okay, now I will um, just pull this up resistor with the uh, logic 5 voltage or VCC pin. So for this, I need to connect this wire with the 5 volt VCC, right? Okay, but problem with uh, this type of connection is that you, uh, in your schematic, you need VCC pin throughout your schematic. So your schematic will uh, just populate here and you will draw a lot of, uh, you will add a lot of components after this. Uh, resistor. So every time you are going to connect a logic 5 voltage or logic voltage, so you need to connect this way. So I think this is not a good way. So we need to figure out a better solution. The better solution is delete this wire. Okay, first delete this wire, then I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. So 
in a previous design we have used uh, the vc symbol right the purpose of the vc symbol is that you will use vc symbol throughout your project that means when you connect this symbol so you need to copy this symbol from here to here to here right so for this reason you need to select the uh, you need to enable the copy tool so just enable the copy tool and click on the plus point that is the cc point of the vcc symbol and just draw here and connect to it this one or you can just place here and connect to it all right so the meaning of using symbol is that this point and this point is connected together so you don't don't need to worry about the connection between this point and this point you just you can just use symbol okay that is good so you will use this method throughout your project this is same for the ground okay okay next thing we are going to connect is the crystal <coughs> uh we know that 80 mega 328 needs 16 mega <coughs> crystal for com uh, for being compatible with the arduino uno right so we need crystal so let's find out the crystal from the park library crystal yeah just start with crystal and start okay so we are not going to select any from the adafruit library okay uh, so for most of the cases uh i use through hole crystal um, <laughs> So you can select this one. Okay, this is the, you will find this from a special and external slash s right. So select this crystal from here, and I'm going to place crystal here. Okay. Uh, so for the crystal configuration, I also need to capacitor. The capacitor value is 22 picofarad. Just search with capacitor. Okay, we are going to again use RCL library and for e, okay no problem i can use some erc eu okay so i'm just um i just expanded ceu so we are going to select capacitor from ceu just go down go down so we have to select component from the through uh, smd version or this all these components are through whole version so if you prefer you are going to design your through pcb you have to use this components from this uh, packages right but uh, we are going to use components from the SMD packages. Okay, so this is the uh, capacitor for 0603 value, um, 060603 packages. So I told you before that we are going to use register and capacitor um, of the 0603 packages. Okay, so one capacitor here and the capacitor. Yeah, right. Okay, I just need to move this one so that align perfectly okay so next just connect yeah yeah so nice i think the crystal connection is almost complete we need ground connection for completing the rest of the thing so let's copy the ground symbol from here just copy tool and just press on start right for zooming and zoom out you can use the mouse scroll bar that is easy yeah so crystal connection is complete right okay so next thing i'm going to add is the uh, connect the avcc for um, so as the, uh, the purpose of our schematic is uh, to um, sense the data from the analog sensor, right? So for analog sensor, in the data sheet of 80 mega 328, there is a low pass filter. Uh, so they recommended to connect to the VCC pin, right? So we need to connect a low pass filter. So that is the LC filter, we will connect the VCC pin. For connecting the LC filter, we need a, um, we need a inductor. Actually, we need an inductor. Let's find out the inductor first. And do you see it? You are. So I think we are going to use inductor from the RCL library. No, not from the LEU, from the LUS. Because for LEUS, the symbol is same as the inductor we are familiar with. Okay. So normally inductor packages are different from the register capacitor. So we have to select um, 
the dimension is l1812 that means 18 millimeter 12 millimeter i guess so i think okay for now i'm going to use um l2012 package of the inductor okay let's go with this one we can change later right okay for lc filter that is the l and i also need c so i will use copy tool to copy from here so that is c yeah I can okay for LC filter I can just yeah so that is the LC filter I also need the ground connection for completing the LC circuit yeah right uh, okay I need to move this one so I selected the move tool it is not going to make it good schematic just right okay i think now this is perfect right okay so i need to connect um, a vc symbol here i can connect this here but it doesn't look good so i will make another copy of the vcc yeah no it's fine okay so and, and the another point of the array pin you have to connect a capacitor with array pin so that is recommended in the data sheet right so you have to connect another capacitor with the array pin just remember that and i have to connect this one with ground so i need another ground here okay let's move this whole network um, a little bit left okay so if you want to move the whole network you have to move one by one right but we're not going to do this way we are going to move the whole network together so if you want to perform any action on many components or part of your circuit you first of all what you need to do is to you have to make a group this is the group tool right so you have to select group tool and you have to uh, make a group just uh, drag and drop your mouse pointer okay now the whole network is a group okay now what you can do is you are going to perform the move action right so now you select the move tool and right click on the right click on any component of that group now you will find that move group okay that means you can move all of the components together see so easy right so you need this technique uh, um, for rest of your um, for completing rest of your schematic as well as your PCB, right? Okay, we need a cap, uh, we need a uh, ground connection here. So I'm selecting the copy to us uh, and just kind of copying the ground. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I will also connect this ground with the nearest ground. Okay, I think. Um, we have completed most of the schematic here so i just need to handle the vcc and ground so in our previous video i have discussed that for any analog and digital ic you have to put a sufficient bypass capacitor close to the vcc and ground right you have to remember this point every time you are designing pcb so we need capacitor for connecting vcc so we are going to use two capacitors not one capacitor so actually two capacitor in two different values so i think uh, i will pick one for uh, 10 100 microfarad and another one uh, for 10 micro sorry sorry i i say it wrong so i will select one capacitor for 10 nanofarad and i will select another capacitor for the 100 nanofarad okay okay so this is the same connection so i can use this way and i need to connect ground here just copy the ground I also can connect this ground with this ground but I am just separating my concern so that my PCB looks professional and looks good 
okay just connect this ground with a separate okay but i can just connect this ground with the this ground but i am just separating the ground connection so that my pcb looks good and everything look everything looks professional and so uh, so i can handle with uh, so my pcb have the great readability for the users as well as for the next engineer you have to remember this one right <clears throat> uh, i guess i have completed the uh, mic uh, microcontroller sub circuit yeah so this is the basic schematic for the, the microcontroller um, basically so we have designed everything such a way that uh, the microcontroller is going to be some, um, compatible with uh, arduino uno uh, so in the next video we will populate the rest of the circuit and populate rest of the component with the rest of the io pins right i think that is good enough for this video okay thank you